Colorado positioning itself to be at the forefront of the next computing frontier. The state and federal governments are investing millions into new facilities to grow quantum computing. Your reporter Sarah Hobakowitz is giving us an inside look at how students are already pushing the envelope and how Colorado could see big returns. Right now we're in a clean room for quantum research at the Colorado School of Mines and students here are excited for an expansion of this work as the state invests in a quantum incubator in Boulder and students here at the Colorado School of Mines are already getting to work. It's fair to say PhD student Sam Sater's world revolves around quantum research. I love um, quantum and everything related because it's something that um, I've always had an interest in personally, you know, I'm a physics student, but on a broad scale, it's an extremely exciting technology. And his world is about to get bigger with a new quantum incubator in Boulder, designed to help research in everything from AI to healthcare with bigger and stronger computers. It's supporting an industry that I hope to go into once I graduate, but also because these clean rooms will help our research here at Mines immediately. This week, college and state leaders joined together to open up the new 13,000 foot facility funded by a tax incentive and spearheaded by CU Boulder. To really make sure that Colorado is ground zero for an incredibly uh, important sector of the future. Quantum work is wide reaching and growing fast right now supporting 3000 jobs in the state, but expected to support as many as 10,000 in the next decade. Quantum computing will power so many applications that not only improve our lives, but also will save our lives in sectors like personalized health care and sectors like AI in sectors like energy. And in an effort to accomplish those goals, students like Sam are already getting to work, looking forward to using new resources. It means that, um, you know, I'll be pumped when I graduate and I can get a job in industry and I won't have to leave Colorado. Project leaders say they're hoping to get things going at that incubator later this month. For now, reporting in Golden, Sarah Horbakowitz covering Colorado first.